Well guys, we have a brand new mid-drive e-bike conversion kit on the market by CYC and it's called the Photon. You might be familiar with CYC as a company because they are essentially the only other manufacturer besides Bafang that has a good all-inclusive mid-drive conversion kit. Up until now, they had the X1 Pro and the X1 Stealth. And these products are good. I actually purchased the X1 Stealth on my previous e-bike build, so I have some direct hands-on experience with this company. And there were a lot of things I liked about this product. Uh, for instance, the build quality was absolutely phenomenal. I have to say guys, the price tag on this is pretty high, but the quality, I mean, this thing is heavy, solid metal. Another hallmark feature of this company and their products is their combination of a torque sensor and a cadence sensor on all of their models. The kit is also all-inclusive. They give you everything you need to get up and running besides the battery, but there were some downsides. Uh, first of all, it's expensive, so you're gonna pay for that quality, but potentially the thing that plagued both the X1 Pro and the X1 Stealth the most is their choice of this chain drive. So the motor is connected to your crankshaft via this primary chain, and then you have your standard secondary chain that then goes to the back wheel. And I found this approach to bring needless complexity and problems to my experience with this product. The two big problems I had personally with this was the added noise that the extra chain produced. It gave the bike this high pitch, really unpleasant, pretty loud noise to it. I think you guys can hear that noise. And secondly, you have to worry about chain alignment. And with my bike, I was never quite able to get the chain perfectly centered. The motor and the cog aren't perfectly aligned. But finally, with this brand new model, the Photon, they address this and they introduce a new design that's much more similar to the very popular Bafang BBS HD. So gone is the exposed primary chain drive and instead they have a direct uh, gear link to the crank arms. So along with shrinking the size of the product, making it look more sleek, it also eliminates that point of failure and makes the noise level significantly more tolerable. Now, because this product is so similar to the Bafang BBS HD, we will do a direct comparison later on in the video. But first I want to run through the specifications. So according to the website, this has a nominal power of 750 watts with a very high torque rating for the wattage at 110 newton meters. As you would expect, the motor isn't that heavy, just 3.2 kilograms. And another huge thing I like about CYC is the flexibility of their product. So you can choose from multiple different chain ring sizes. That's gonna affect things like the torque, the top speed, and you can also get this in many different bottom bracket sizes to fit almost any bike. And along with the physical product itself, there is an app that CYC offers. And from my experience with the Gen 2 Stealth, the app has a lot of information. You can customize a lot of the settings, which I like, but it wasn't super easy and uh, friendly to use. But it's definitely a net positive to be able to customize your power settings. And speaking of customizing the power settings, they say here that in the unlimited mode, the power is actually up to 2000 watts. Okay, so that's the basics of the brand new Photon mid-drive e-bike conversion kit. But to properly judge whether or not this is a good value, of course, we have to compare it against its direct competition, the Bafang BBS HD, as well as the existing X1 Stealth. So beginning with the design, the Photon and the Bafang BBS HD are essentially identical. And considering the BBS HD is the best selling mid-drive conversion kit on the market, I would say that's a very good move on the behalf of CYC. Comparing that to their previous design of the exposed chain drive, I would say they're moving in the right direction. In terms of power though, the Photon is the weakest on the list, both in terms of wattage and torque. So we're dealing with 750 and 110 newton meters versus 1,160 newton meters for the Bafang and 1500 and 150 newton meters on the X1 Stealth. But do remember that the Photon does have the unrestricted mode of 2000 watts via the app. An electric motor is only as good as its battery. And with both the Stealth and the Photon, you can choose between a 36 or a 52 volt battery. And I gotta say, I'm a little bit disappointed that the Photon is limited to 52 volts. It's not that shocking because the Bafang is also limited to 52 volts, but this would have been a great opportunity to one up the Bafang in this category. All three of these motors have a throttle. So if you want, you can go full throttle 
all the time. But in addition to that, the CYC products give you both a cadence as well as a torque sensor in the bottom bracket. And the Bafang only has a cadence sensor. So if you want to do a lot of pedal assist, by far the CYC products are going to be better in this arena. And finally, this brings us to the price. And this is where things get more murky. So when compared to the X1 Stealth, the Photon is cheaper, $850 versus almost a thousand. And I do appreciate that they brought the price point down, although 850 bucks is still rather expensive for a mid-drive e-bike conversion kit minus the battery. And when compared against the Bafang, they come in at $725. So the price tag means that the CYC is essentially a more premium version of the Bafang offering. And the build quality, along with all of the customization options, do help to justify the higher price tag. But the problem I'm seeing here is the Photon on paper is less powerful than the Bafang. And in my opinion, that makes the value proposition between these two very close competitors very difficult for CYC. But let me know in the comments below what you think of the brand new Photon mid-drive e-bike conversion kit. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.